If you have a lot of products, it can be a lot quicker to import your products using a standard file. From the product menu on the left hand side, you will see there's an option to import or export. If you click the export option, you have an option to either export products on your current page or products or a selection. If we select all products and export, then the export would be delivered by email to your registered email address. If we select just a selection of products and then do export, then the products are automatically exported. When we open the file, we see Shopify's standard export and import template. Exporting your file from Shopify is a good way of backing up your data. You can also make edits at this level and then import it back into Shopify if you want to change things in bulk. Now let's look at the different types of products in Shopify and how these can be imported. Broadly speaking, there are two different types of products in Shopify. Products that come in only one variation and products that come in multiple variation. So in this spreadsheet here, we have a product here which comes in one variation. This is the coffee bar soap and it, it only comes in one option which is coffee bar. Down here we have soaps which come in multiple variations, it comes in multiple colours and each of those colours has different scents. So you can see here that this colour blue has all these different scent variations, same again for pink and orange. In this first example sheet I've created three different single products. Now let's just go through some of the most important fields. Every single product must have a handle and that must appear on every line which relates to that product. The handle is the URL for the product. If we look at a product on Shopify, it can be seen under the SEO information at the bottom, the URL and handle. There are three types of columns in the upload spreadsheet. There are required columns that can't be left blank. There are required columns that can be left blank. And there are, and there are columns which aren't required. The required columns that can't be left blank are the handle, the title, the option one name and option one value. The title is the title for the product. That's the name of the product which can be seen in Shopify. The option one name and option one value are used for varying products. If you're having a single product, then the option one name must be title and the option one value must be default title. There are a number of fields which are required but can be left blank. If you do not fill in these fields, but then you upload the products, this, the information in Shopify will be wiped. Required fields that can be left blank include body text, vendor, and published. If published is left blank, then it will default to true. Required fields must appear at least once in every upload spreadsheet. For single products, if you want to upload multiple images, this must be done on separate lines. The required fields only need to appear on one line. So you see here, this product has two, co uh, has two rows. So the required fields and other information is kept on the first row. And the image information is kept on the second row. And you can see we've got the image source here and we've got the image position. So that, that'll be the first or hero image and that will be the second image. If you want to add more than two images, you would simply need to insert another row and then add the image to that row. So that would be B3. Images need to be stored externally in a, a web location that can be accessed by Shopify. This could be in a web hosting service or it can be on Shopify itself. On Shopify, if you go into settings and then files, this is where you can upload your files and then you can get a, you can get a link for that file. So if we copy the link there and then return to our upload spreadsheet, we can then paste it into the image source column and that image will then get uploaded. Products that come in multiple variations will require a different structure to the upload file. This is a file for a soap which comes in multiple options, so it comes in different colours and also different scents. Each different variation combination, i.e. colour and scent in this case, requires a different line. Again, the standard information for the product is, is entered on a single row. In this case, the title, the description, etc. That is the same for a single product. This single row also has one of the variation options on it. Each row needs to have the handle and it will also need to have information about the variant. So in this case, we have about 30 different variants. We've got these entries here for blue. For each blue color, we have the different scent options. Each variant has its own SKU, and then we also have the weight and the price, etc. for that variant. In the image source 
column we have the four images which are shared across the different variants and like the single products these have a specific order in which they're shown. If we go to the right hand side of the file we also have the variant image and that is the specific image for each variant. If we go into Shopify and click on the product these variant images are the, variant, the images which are assigned to each variant. As you can see the format of uploading products into Shopify is a bit complicated. The best advice I can give you is to create some manually, export them, so you can then see the format and then copy that format to create new products. Once you've created your upload spreadsheet, it's time to upload it. If you click import from the product file, you'll get the option to upload a file. Here you can download the CS a blank CSV template to see the format which is required for products. If you click override any current products which have the same handle, then day two you upload using the same handle will, up upload, will overwrite existing data. If you don't tick this box, then if there is a match between the handle in your file and the handle in Shopify, then that product will be skipped. If any columns are not filled in, then existing data will be used. So if we upload our example file, Before we upload something you get a chance to preview your first product so you can see here what the title and the description etc um, and the information which is being uploaded and then we can import the products. If you have a large number of items it may take a while to import products. So here you can see we've had these, these two which says example of the two products which we created and it has populated the product details including product type, media, pricing, stock keeping unit. Here you can see I've got a stock keeping unit which we used in another product so we'd need to change that. 